Today is the offseason here in Colts franchise. We're going to go through the whole offseason in this episode. We finished the season 6 and 11, and we've got a lot of moves to make. We've got a lot of changes to make with this team. Uh, I have kind of a plan and idea of what I want to do. I saw some of you guys' comments as well. Uh, and yeah, we're going to move on and see what happens. And hopefully we can build a potential playoff team. I think going 6 and 11, I think we can improve the team by two or three wins and maybe sneak into the playoffs next year. I do legit think we can kind of get there. Uh, we are going to change some things though. So we're going i think i'm going to aim for that pass rusher that was an edge rusher um so we're going to change some things up and we're actually going to go to a 3-4 defense now i don't know how this is going to work with deo um but we're going to try it out and then obviously we gotta we're gonna have to change our playbook so for now we'll just change it to uh, you guys can let me know in the comments below what playbook we could change it to for a 3-4. But I think I'm going to go with Baltimore's for now. And uh, I think we're just going to do a base 3-4 for the defense. So we're changing some things up. This will give us more pass rushers. Uh, so now what we can do is have Buckner right in the middle. And then if we decide to draft a defensive tackle slash left end, we can move him right uh, to uh, defense Ven. We're going to move Quiddy Pay inside as well. Even though he's a little undersized, I think it will still work as long as maybe we draft that defensive tackle that we liked. He was He's a big dude. So that can kind of help. And then we have Odangbo and then possibly that edge rusher on the other side. And that could be our front five. I think that works really well. And then Shaq in the middle. And then we can go draft another linebacker. We have Franklin. We have EJ Speed. So our depth at linebacker, at inside linebacker, will be really good too. So I think that's a good good way to plan out this team. Uh, so real quick, here's also what we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead and fire our offensive coordinator. I want his... Um, I want to find someone that has better passing uh, upgrades here. And uh, instead, of running, instead of a running back guru. And then we're also going to fire our defensive coordinator as well. Uh, because he's more of an inside 4-3 guy. So, yeah. We're going to go ahead and fire the two coordinators here. And then we'll go ahead and hopefully we can hire someone that fits more of what we want to do. So, base 3-4 Thomas Peters. Um, oh, we can view his talent tree as well. Yes. This is perfect. Oh, wait, no. This is... Wait, no. That's head coach. Hold on. Let me find, doo -doo -doo. let's do the offensive coordinator first and we'll work on, uh, yeah, we'll find, uh, let's see, he's a halfback guru, okay, receiver guru, which could be interesting uh, to have a receiving guru, I mean, boost catching, so that would be up plus three on catching, acceleration and jumping, and then spectacular catch deep route and medium route, or short route release and catching traffic man a receiving guru would be nice because that would really help downs and pitman instead of a quarterback guru um and then run pass option what is this carrying for a quarterback awareness for a quarterback hmm okay so not very good quarterback upgrades i mean short route running for a wide receiver boost throw on the run for a quarterback we can get plus three there so that's good. Boo Boo's pass block, too. Ooh. You know what? This might be the route we go. So remember... Who was that? Shoot, I should have remembered his name. Um, Hold on. Offensive coordinator. Okay, it was this guy. Brian Warner is an option. Uh, offensive line guru. We could do that with vertical threat and power running. Uh, quarterback guru, which the quarterback guru is really nice because you can get uh, either plus three speed or plus three throw power. Now, do we need those things? Not necessarily. You know what? No, we're going to go with this one. He's really... Yeah, this one's good because we get the quarterback guru, which is awesome, uh, which will obviously help us a ton. 
Uh, we can't do throw under pressure or throw on the run, unfortunately, but we can just boost the normal accuracies, which is fine. Uh, and then we'll either choose throw power or speed. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. And then we get secure the line, which will be really nice. Uh, and strength for the offensive line will be really good. Um, and then let me know in the comments below whether we should do power or finesse. And then the receivers will actually get uh, a boost on short route running, awareness, uh, release, catching traffic, which is huge, and catching for all tight ends, halfbacks, and wide receivers, which is huge. So I think we're going to go with uh, this offensive coordinator, which uh, his name is... Oh, shoot. I lost it. Hold on. His name is... It was, I think, Quick Throws for the first one. Yeah, slot specialist right now. X Factor ready, Pocket Pro. Uh, hiring bonus, we get 75 uh, points, which is really nice. Um, so, yeah, I think we're going to go hire Bob Bates as our offensive coordinator. And uh, we are now at 342 points, which will be really nice. Uh, we'll be able to add a lot of stuff here. So, now let's find a defensive coordinator. Now, like I said, we're moving to a 3-4. So anyone at 3-4 won't work out. Now, what type of guru do we want? Uh, man secondary, which is nice. Stack box, linebacker guru. I kind of want a pass rushing. Oh, actually, linebacker guru could up his up their um, pass rush. Let's see. Block shed would be really nice. Power moves and finesse moves. Hit power, strength, acceleration would all be really nice. And that's for outside and inside linebackers. So that's for Odengbo, the rookie, Shaq Leonard, the rookie inside linebacker, right? I think this is the one to go with. And then for we get man coverage, press uh, for corners. So we'll do this side for sure. And then boost catching, which will be really nice. And then stack box. This is for, oh my gosh, boost speed for outside linebackers. The, this is the one. This is the one. Yep. I'm not even looking at the rest of them. Which one was that? Hold on. I wish it would take you back to where you were. Uh, linebacker guru, man secondary, and stack box. I think that's the best one. Um, inside 4 3, stack box, man secondary, defensive line guru. That doesn't matter. Uh, linebacker guru, that's 4-3. Defensive line guru, man secondary stack box. I don't really think, I mean, we could look at it real quick. Defensive line would improve. He's already done the power side of it, which would be, uh, let's see, strength, block, shot, and hit power, stamina, power moves. I mean, this one's not bad, but again, we don't necessarily need those things right now if we're moving to a 3-4. So, yeah, um, we could check this one out. It's defensive line guru zones, uh, but I don't really want to do zone. I want to do man. So, yeah, I think, you know what? I think we're going to hire this guy here. Three, four under uh, linebacker guru, man, secondary stack box. We're going to go ahead and hire Scott Anderson as our defensive coordinator. And now we're up to 426 staff points, which is awesome. So let's go ahead and use these staff points and see what we want to use it on. I think that one of the biggest things is adding focus players. So let's go ahead and do that. We should probably have done like increase the hiring bonus. We probably should have done this first. Ooh, we're also going to increase the XP here for left uh, guards and tackles. So actually, I'm going to boost this all the way. Um, ooh, I probably shouldn't have done all of that. Hmm, man, I, I didn't think that would go by so fast. I wanted to actually work on some trades as well. So let's do this real quick. Uh, I wanted to work on like draft picks. So 2% trade discount for CPU draft picks, 2% trade value increase for user draft picks. Let's do that one because we're going to be possibly trading down. So we'll boost that up. And then guaranteed trade package for current user pick. Oh, actually, we have to use both. Okay, that's that sucks. Um, all right, guaranteed trade package, non X Factor user 
players will be valued one depth trait higher. That's incredible. Uh, and then I don't really increase on user players. I don't know if I'm going to really ooh, reduce the cost of trading up during the draft, though. Can I get that? Or will we not have? No, nah, we won't have enough. Okay, so that's what I'm going to sit at for now. And then obviously next season, we're going to be increasing all of this stuff. Um, but getting that XP bonus on the offensive line is huge. So you know what? I'm just going to do this again because, yeah, we really need to work on our offensive line. Um, but yeah, wow, that went by really fast, which kind of sucks, but we'll take it. By the way, I just realized Michael Pittman Jr. is a superstar. Holy crap. Let's go. Um, he got superstar dev for wide receiver of the year. I didn't even I didn't notice that in the in the last episode. Let's actually look at his abilities real quick. I want outside apprentice for sure. And then let's give him probably matchup nightmare. Definitely will probably be one. And let's see, what else do we want? Could help in the pass or in the run blocking players with this ability are harder to knock out of the zone. And then let's see, jukebox and mid in elite. Okay, so let's do matchup nightmare. And then we'll do, I mean, we could just do slot apprentice as well, just in case he's in the slot. I don't know. Is that I kind of feel like that might be a waste. Let me know in the comments below what which ones do you guys use for this stuff? Bruiser could be one uh for those stiff arm animations. That could be a good one. Or like receivers with this ability catch more consistently while catching passes 20 plus yards from the line of scrimmage inside the numbers. I would actually want that one but outside the numbers. Uh but it's he needs to be a 90 overall. So let's do Let's do Bruiser for now, and then we'll probably just wait till he hits 90 overall to give him uh, those things. And then we might as well work on Richardson's abilities as well before we forget. So he's at Superstar Dev. He only has one available right now, and his is Locker Room Pep Talks go a long way. Players with this ability can easily enter the zone in the second half. We've got Safety Valve passes with this ability, improve the catching prowess of all running backs. Don't really need that. Bulldozer, no. Tight out passes with disability. Improve the catching prowess of all tight ends. Uh, when playing at home, players with this ability can en easily enter the zone. Okay, well, that doesn't matter. Let's do tight out for now. And then wait till he unlocks more abilities. Um, okay, we're all good there. Downs is at star. I think he was already at, already at star dev. Uh, Shaq Leonard is up to star. That's awesome. We need to move him inside. Okay, so we've done some moving around here on the defense. We have a lot of inside linebackers right now. Uh, I moved Franklin to inside, Speed to inside, um, Stewart to inside, McRone to inside. So we're going to have to make a lot of tough choices at inside linebacker, maybe some trade candidates as well. Uh, Odengbo, we moved to right outside linebacker. He does go down one overall. Uh, but again, he's going to be pat rush rushing the passer for the most part. Uh, his speed is only at an 80, so it is a bit of a concern. But like I said, I think this is probably the way to... I just want to increase the amount of pass rushers we have, and we'll figure out the coverage after that. So that's kind of the idea with it. So we'll see. Kenny Moore is up to Superstar Dev as well. Uh, Julius Brent's up to X Factor. Um, I don't know. We might move on from Kenny Moore. This is probably the time to do it if we were going to do it. So we'll see. I, I'm not really sure what to do there. I'm going to draft someone and put them at right end. Uh, Adebarre will be the backup defensive tackle. And uh, yeah, we'll continue to kind of mess with it. But uh, yeah, Odengbo will get better uh, as well. Like he'll he'll get better. He's going to be rushing passer for the most part. And under a specialist, like he, he will be our rush right end. So yeah. Um, that should work out and we are all good to go there. And now we, we know like what specific holes we need to fill, which is nice too. Looking at the mock draft here, let's see what they think, uh, we're going to do here. They think we're going to take the running back. <laughs> okay. That's a little broken. That's fine. Desmond Crothers is projected to be the third overall pick. 
Ooh, we might have to trade up, actually, instead of trading down. Wow, I really want him. I think he's going to be really, really good. Hmm. If we don't get him, we could always move back to 4-3, but we don't uh, kind of have a defensive coordinator that needs 3-4. So, yeah, could end up being an issue um, if we don't get Crothers. So, hopefully we can. Let's take a look at... The uh, re-signing here. Quitty Pay, we're going to go ahead and accept his fifth-year option. So he's definitely back. And other than that, um, you know what? Let's bring back Olga Tree on a, on a cheap deal. Just just to keep that depth there at tight end. Because I don't think I'm going to be drafting anyone. Zach Moss, let's go ahead and bring back... Well, I haven't hold Deion Jackson if we draft a running back. Hmm... We could let Deion Jackson go. Let's keep Zach Moss if we can. And he will go ahead and stay. Uh, Gardner Minshew. We can look at other free agent uh, quarterbacks. And let's bring back. You know what? We'll let Deion Jackson go. And yeah, that should be fine. Um, and we'll, we'll look at other punters too. All right. Combine results are in. So, uh, I want to look... Well, Crothers is at 8 in this, but the mock draft had him going 3. Hopefully, that mock draft is wrong. That way, we won't have to trade up. But I want to see his physicals. Not the fastest. Good speed. But ran a 4.75, which is pretty good. Elite acceleration, though. Great change of direction. I just I just think he's going to be really good. That A finesse moves. I'm curious to see what his power moves is. But he's someone I definitely want to know more about. So we're going to probably put a focus on him just to make sure we want him. And then let's go to the rest of our favorites here. Uh, inside linebacker, I will probably draft somebody. Um, ooh, wow. Justin Snow ran a 4-5. 25 reps on the bench press. He's top 10 in everything. Top 5 in top 3 in... 40 yard bench broad jump three cone physically he's a monster a awareness b block shed b man c finesse moves c play rec again maybe someone that we wanted to see more of steven duvall he's more of a pass coverage guy ran a four five five lower on the bench press vertical jump is the highest broad jump is 10th three cone is fifth and 20 yard shuttle is first. Steven Duvall looks really good too. A awareness, B man, B zone, B tackle. Oh man, those two, those two are close. And we could always draft both of them. Like that could be our future in the inside there. Um, we've got Crothers, we already looked at. Defensive tackle, I definitely want to get someone to put at that other defensive end spot. Uh, so 6'2", 305, he could play that defensive end slot, ran a 507, so good speed, but 40 bench reps, second in vert, second in broad jump, C block shed, which is low, but A power moves, man, B tackle, I don't know, that A power moves is really enticing, Josh Chapman here, 6'3", 303, he's faster, not as strong, a play rec, a oh, he has a power moves as well. B finesse moves and a tackle. Ooh, Josh Chapman might be better. The C to F injury, though, is really concerning. Taj Holloman, let's see how he did. Six foot one, man coverage. He's the fastest corner. He's the fastest corner. He looks really good. Okay, he's not very strong. A catching, a press. We don't know his man, which is B to D, which is not great. But physically, he's insane. Juwan Stark, on the other hand, is also 6'3". Still pretty fast, 4'4'1". He looks really good, too. With A catching, A man. We don't know his zone coverage. He's a better cover corner right now. But Holloman uh, is the more physically gifted player we can get his man up 
and he's around two to three guy. I feel like the value there is better with Taj. Jeremiah Quick, I'm really curious about him because he was super fast. He has, He's the fastest running back. Damn. Look at this. Elite strength, elite speed, elite jumping, good change of direction, great agility, elite acceleration. Oh my God. With A break tackle and A stiff arm. Yeah. We're drafting Jeremiah Quick at some point. He's insane. We're probably not going to look at tight end this year. Um, although these two, I thought looked pretty decent. You can look at their physicals, four, six, eight. Again, I just, I don't know. I don't know if we're going to take a tight end, especially in rounds one or two. Cause I would want to take Dwayne Callahan. Uh, but I, I'm, I'm good. We have Jelani Woods. We bring in back Olga Tree. We have Granson who I love. I think we're good at tight ends. Unless we, unless one of these guys drop, I think we're good. At tackle, we don't necessarily need a left tackle. We need a right tackle. But could we transition one of these guys at left tackle to right tackle? But there's also just a right tackle in general. Here in Daniel Gaffney, 6'4", 315, ran a 497. He, physically, he's awesome. A impact, A awareness, B pass block finesse, C pass block overall. Want to know maybe a little bit more about him, but he could be around one guy. Dylan Patterson also could be someone that we draft here in round one. Oh, he looks really good. A run block and what's his pass block? A to C. D pass block. Uh, okay. He's more of an agile. I don't know. Dylan Patterson might be a little bit better. We're definitely taking a right tackle. And then, let's see, Kevin Jackson could be a defense. But again, in rounds one or two, we'd have to probably take him in round one. He looks good, but the defensive tackle, I think, looks better. Yeah. I don't know. Juwan Bryant. What's his uh, numbers here? Sixth and... Yeah, Crothers looks better. Now looking at some free agents here. Jonathan Taylor is a free agent, so he never got signed. Which is hilarious. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sign him. Alright, Amari Cooper, Mike Williams is a free agent. Grover Stewart. So we could bring back Grover Stewart. That'd be funny. Uh we could bring in someone like Patrick Queen. I think we're good there. Uh I don't know. Free agency isn't really great. Nicole Hardman could be interesting, but again, I don't really I don't know. I don't really like any of... I mean, no one's really interested in us that we want. People's Jones we could go for, maybe. Levi Wallace, another corner. I think we're good at corner, especially if I want to take Taj. So let's look at punter here because we definitely need a punter. Uh, none of these want to join the team, but we're going to sign one of these guys. Might try to go for Tommy Townsend. Um, but again, he doesn't really want to sign. No one wants to sign here. That's really unfortunate. <laughs> um, you know what? No, let's go for Blake Gillikin. He has the most interest out of these top guys. And then we'll do like a four year deal. We got to offer more money because he doesn't necessarily want to be here. So that's, that's, that's a decent amount of money. Um, I guess he doesn't have any offers, but still. We need a backup quarterback as well. Bringing in someone like Marcus Mariota actually makes sense because of his ability to run. And he has interest in us. Um, we could bring in someone like Cooper Rush. Kyle Trask. Let's uh, let's bring in... Where is he? I mean, he doesn't have much interest, but... I think he'd be a solid backup for us. He doesn't cost a lot. We can do a two-year deal. Up the money just a tad. And we should be able to get him. We'll see. Uh, running backs. Again, I am i don't think we're going to bring anyone in. But someone like Cordero could be really nice. Hmm. I don't know. I Jeremiah Quick might be just our three down guy with Evan Hole coming in. Zach Moss coming in. 
We do need a fullback. I know some of you guys said to go out and get a fullback. So let's go ahead and just bring in Carter here, I think. Unless I want to bring in Ben Mason, who has a lot of interest. Let's bring in, you know what? 85 speed for Ryan Null. Um, I don't know. Who do I want to bring in here? Carter is better at blocking, so let's just bring in Carter here. We'll do another two-year deal, up the money just a tad, and we should be able to grab him. Uh, I think we're good at tight end. Don't really see anyone that we'd want anyways. Wide, wide receiver is interesting, but I don't really want to bring in any of these guys. Nicole Hardman with that 96 speed would be nice, but again, I don't, I don't know when he's going to get the ball. Uh, we could bring in a right tackle just in case we miss out on somebody. So let's bring in George Fant on a two-year deal. We'll offer that money. That's fine. We only have eight mil left. I think we're, oh man, I think we're good. I feel like I'm forgetting a position. I don't really want to bring in a corner right now. Linebacker, I think we're good. We could bring in a defensive end to play uh just to add some depth hmm let's bring in who do i want to bring in here i mean there are not a lot of options we could bring in a defensive tackle i don't want to bring in anyone that will cost too much money but we do need to add somebody here so let's go ahead and bring in Rasheem Green. He can at least, he's only 27, so he should be uh he should be fine. I think I think that's the offer we make there. And I think we're good. Alright, let's see who we got. Jonathan Taylor, by the way, went to Minnesota. So JT, Justin Jefferson, Addison. Uh they have some good weapons there. Grover Stewart ended up going to Houston. Uh Mike Williams went to Detroit. Amari Cooper also went to Minnesota. Whoa. All right. Minnesota is going kind of crazy. Uh, let's see who we signed here. We got our punter. We got Fant at right tackle for now. Uh, I think we got pretty much everyone. I think. Yeah. I think we pretty much got everyone we wanted. So we're all good there. Again, the free agency, I didn't really see anyone that we really wanted other than former Colts, which is whatever. So let's go ahead and look at Mock Draft 4 here and see how everything's looking. They still have us taking Jeremiah Quick, but Crothers is still a top three pick, looks like. Hmm. Oh, wow. Gaffney is that high up? Oh, boy. All right. This will be interesting. All right. So this is where we get to do our private workouts. So what do I want to do here? Uh, well, Gaffney has flown up the board. What in the world? Oh, wait. No, was he already there? He might have been already there. Never mind. Uh, I think I'm no matter what, I'm going to take Crothers. So let's see. Who do I want to see more of? Um, probably the defensive tackles I want to see. I like Taj Holloman. I think I'm just going to go with him. And then uh, let's look at... Um, hmm. I, we might want to look at Taj here just to see a little bit more on him because I don't know if I really want him, but he looks good. I just want to maybe know a little bit. Ah, I don't know. Who do I want to know more about? Could do one of the linebackers. Let's go with. Um, no, let's go with Holloman. I, I just want to see more, uh, of Holloman just in case, uh, I decide to take him. So we'll go ahead and submit those three in there and we can go ahead and advance. I believe we're all good to go. Yeah. So let's advance to the 2024 NFL draft here and take a look at those three and determine which one of the tackles, the defensive tackles we want. 
So let's see, Whitfield up to 90% here. C finesse moves, A power moves, C block shed. Uh, physically, he's pretty good. He's not as much of a... Like, block shed and tackle isn't very high. C or injury is B to C. Impact blocking is a B. But A pursuit, A power moves. He's fast. I think he might be fast. Or no, he's stronger, I think. Yeah. I think he's stronger. Hmm. And then there's Chapman. Who has better finesse moves. C block shed as well. But A tackle. Oh no, he's faster. And not necessarily... Not... I mean... D, uh, the D to F injury, though. That's really concerning. I don't want to deal with that. D to F is really bad. I might I might just go with the other one. All right. Well, let's see what Taj Holloman says. He's at 90% as well. A press. B man. D zone, which is not great. But, man, physically, he's insane. A press is a really good thing. Oh, I might just... Ah, oh, man. I might go with him just because his physicals are off the charts like Juwan Stark is better in man coverage we don't know his zone um his press is A to C I don't know I think Taj I think Taj might just be we can always work on the man coverage and the press you can't teach that the physicals right like his physicals are just off the chart. So, I don't know. Let's see how this goes. Hopefully, Crothers doesn't go in the top five. I don't know if I want to move up or not. It might be a little too expensive. Um, let's see what happens at one and two. Dudley goes one at left end. All right. Atlanta will take CJ Medlin, that left tackle. I feel like we should move up to three. I really want... I, I We need another pass rusher. He's really the only one that I liked. I think... Ah, oh man. The the mock drafts... I he They have him at eight in like the overall. But the mock drafts all had him going three. So I'm not going to risk it. I'm moving up to three. We'll use the fifth. And a fly just flew right in my face. Um, so we'll use the fifth overall pick and we will throw in, I want to keep my seconds. We have three thirds and a fourth. Um, let's offer a third and a fifth. How about that? A third and a fifth to move up two spots. I feel like that's a lot, but like. Not a lot. I don't know. That should work. No, it doesn't. We're close. All right, let's do... Instead of the fifth, we'll do the fourth. And this should work out. No? Still declined? Okay. Hmm. Okay, let's do a fifth and six. We won't use the fifth and sixth round picks. We're throwing in a fourth next year. This should be accepted, and it is. So we move up to three. I'm taking Crothers. The mock drafts have kind of scared me. I I just I want him. I want I, I want him. I'm okay with losing out on most of these other guys that I have favorited, other than probably Jeremiah Quick. That's the other one that I really, really want. Um, but out of all the other guys, like I I, I want I want Crothers. I just feel like he's gonna go because of all the mock drafts. So we're gonna do it. We're gonna take Desmond Crothers. He looks really good. He's six foot five. He is a bit slow, but A finesse moves, B hit power, B impact blocking, B block shed. I mean, and it's slow. I mean, I mean he's not really slow. I mean, ran a four seven five. It's good speed, elite acceleration. I think he's the guy. We we need we need some. And he has normal dev. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. That's brutal. 90 acceleration, only 82 speed. 86 jumping. 
Man, normal dev? Are you kidding me, dude? That's rough. That is... That's... That's... That's pretty brutal. We gave up a, a decent amount of picks for him, too. Ross Redman, the quarterback, goes to Seattle. The Bucks take Sean Kerr. There goes Daniel Gaffney at 7. He was the, the other right tackle. We could move up to get the other right tackle, but there's also a right guard who's six foot five or six foot six that we can move to right tackle. Um, that's an option. Uh, I forget what his name was because there's obviously Dylan Patterson, who's also six five, three twenty, and he ran a four eight eight. He looks really really good um is pass block power isn't great really good run blocker so i think dylan patterson but we'd have to move up or there's this one who's round two to three danny fitzsimmons six five three thirteen so he's about the same size he is slower um but he's more of a pass block power guy, and his pass block is an A. So I might actually be okay with just seeing what happens and not really moving too far. And yeah, I mean, if that tackle drops to like the 20s, maybe we'll move up then. But I'm not moving up much higher than that. Dion Blaylock goes to the Giants. And there goes Dylan Patterson. Yeah, that was uh, 11. I wasn't moving up to 11. No way. No way. CJ Brown goes to Houston. Pittsburgh will take Kevin Jackson. He was uh, a left end that I was looking at. Frank Young goes to Tennessee. San Fran takes JJ Middleton, a right tackle. New England will take Caleb Pollard, a wide receiver. Vernon Leno at right end. He goes to the Bills. The Cardinals take an outside linebacker. Or, sorry, the Bills did. The Cardinals take a right end, Paul Westbrook. Now we're on to pick 20 here. Defensive tackle goes. All right, let's view our draft board here. We're at 27. We're up to pick 21 now. And let's see, who are all the round one guys? So we've got, oops. We've got Chapman. I want to... Can I reorganize this? Or no? I don't think so. Um, yeah, I don't think I can. Okay. So Chapman is around 1-2 to two guy. And then Whitfield. So if Chapman is there, maybe we just take him instead of Whitfield. Um, I mean, I think he's better than Whitfield. But the value, right? So if he's there, I will take him. I think Taj Holloman will be a round two guy. I think we de will decide on that. Stark, we won't go with. Jeremiah Quick will be a round two guy that we take. Uh, and then I guess we'll go for Fitzsimmons, who will be a round two guy that we'll take. And then in round three, we'll take one of these linebackers. And then whoever else drops. I think that's, I think that's a solid plan. Uh, Carl Session is also someone that we could look at at left tackle. A awareness, A impact block, and a 5-8. Uh, B pass block. We can move him to the right side. But I think the I think the best option is um is Fitzsimmons with that A pass block. He's 6'5. He's a big dude. I, I think that works. So let's just kind of see who's there. Um yeah, I'm not really worried about moving up here. Cameron Orr goes to Baltimore. Raymond Knight, a free safety, goes to the Chargers. Uh, the Saints, or the, the Jets, will take Johnny Benjamin. The Saints are up. They will take Kevin Childress. And Atlanta, or, uh, Arizona will take Juwan Stark. So Juwan Stark goes, so that means we're for sure going to take Taj in that situation. I might take the defensive tackle then. 
Yeah. I think... Uh, how far down is he here? We could take Session. We could take Scott. Those are all options. Um, I guess we could move down a little bit and gain some more picks. Where is the defensive tackle here? Um, Josh Chapman, 23 down. You know what? We might trade down. Okay, so we're going to move down with the Kansas City Chiefs here. We'll pick up pick 32. Uh, but we also get a third and fourth round pick. Now, they're, you know, the, one of the last picks um, in the draft. But I think that's, I think we're, I think we're okay with that. Perry Sears goes in or goes to Kansas City. Uh, Brandon Coakley goes to Dallas. Colin Judge, a right guard, goes to Minnesota. Quincy Ramsey goes to Jacksonville and the LA Rams. We'll take Glenn Warford. No defensive tackles have been traded or uh, have been picked up. So we might trade this again and see, can we pick up maybe like another third? Uh, pick 46 is too far down. I don't want to go that far. But can we go to like, hmm, I don't think we're going to really get much. We might just take them here. We'll get 51, 83, and 213. That's not awful. That's not awful. We could do this and then just move back up if we need to, but we gain a third round pick. Let's do this one. And then let's just wait. There's two defensive tackles ahead of him on the board. Uh, so if once one of those guys go, <laughs> oh boy, okay. Was that a mistake? And we're almost up. I don't think back-to-back -back defensive tackles are gonna go. Dwayne Haskins just went, jeez, or Dwayne Haskins, okay. Never mind. Um, ooh. We should. Uh, okay. Let's go one more. Dwayne Callahan goes. Okay. Tampa Bay. They take Dylan Gaddis. Okay. Let's, let's chance it. Okay. Bruce Keenan goes. All right. So. Here's where we are at. We obviously want to pay attention to running back here. Um, what's our next pick? Because I might just go defensive tackle now and then move up. So I'm going to take Chapman. He looks really good. B finesse moves, A power, A tackles. He's six foot three. It, he looks he looks really good. I think he's the guy. He does have hidden depth. Uh, dev. 93 strength, 75 speed, 73 jumping, 67 change of direction, 80 acceleration, 72 agility. And uh, yeah, hidden dev is awesome. So I like that. We take Josh Chapman. Now, when is our next pick here? We're at, our next pick is at 19. Okay. So in this round here, in round two, I think we have, uh, can we see our draft picks? We do. Okay. So 19 and 20. We have back to back there. And we have four thirds, so we can we have a lot of ammo, and four fourths, so we have a ton of ammo here to move up. The guys that we're looking at here are going to be Taj Holloman and Jeremiah Quick here in round two. Um, and Fitzsimmons we need actually, so we're probably going to move up no matter what. Where is Holloman on the list here? Uh, as far as next up. Okay, so once corner and running back starts going we might move back up and then Fitzsimmons is the next right guard so we're gonna have to start making uh some of these picks fairly soon here let's look at the draft board and just see when the next one of those guys are going not for a bit so we might have time here to kind of wait this one out actually you know what a corner just went corner to literally just went i'm gonna move up to eight yeah i'm gonna move up to eight here and uh with the bears so we will grab this pick and then we will trade them what do i want to do i could just offer them two thirds uh and like a fourth because i don't really need um 
because I, I do need two seconds or th two more seconds, right? So let's do, will they take a third and two fourths for this pick? No, not even close. Okay, I figured. I could, I could move on from Kenny Moore. That's an option too. If I'm going to take this corner. We have Jalen Jones, we have Brents. Might be time to move on from Kenny Moore. Um, he's an 85 overall. He has superstar dev. He's going to start regressing. He's 29. He's a great slot corner, but we can put Jalen Jones there. Uh, he was so good for us, though. Hmm. Maybe we do it next year. I don't, I don't, uh, I don't really move, want to move on from him right now. So let's do the 19th, a third and a fourth. I'm okay with doing that. Okay. Yeah, that might've been too much, but that's all right. I'm going to get Taj Hollum in here and hopefully, hopefully he's worth it. I really hope he's worth it because he's the next corner on the board. I think oh, there's one ahead of him, but I don't want to risk it. Let's take Taj Holloman. He looks really good. His physicals are insane. Like he looks outstanding. He does have hidden dev 95 speed, 93 jumping, 93 change of direction, 89 agility and 95 acceleration. Woo. He is ridiculous athletic. Holy moly. Now, his man coverage is only a B. But he's going to be fine. He's going to be just fine. I'm curious to see what his catching is, too. Because, um, uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it said A catching. Now, that could mean, like, 60 for, for a corner. I don't know. But he looks insane. Taj Holloman is now a Colt. We have four really good corners that I like, and then we can move on from Kenny Moore, right? And get Jalen Jones more playing time. But now if there's an injury with Brents or Kenny Moore, we have Jalen Jones. We have now Holloman. So yeah, I think we're I think we're good there. So let's keep going. And then once a running back is taken or a guard, I think we're gonna move up again uh, if we need to. Okay, a running back just went at 14. I think there was still another running back ahead of him, but we're almost up. San Fran doesn't need a running back. New England might. Cincinnati, I don't think, does. There goes Juwan Whitfield. He went to San Fran. Okay, let's go. Okay, New England takes a right tackle. Ugh, I just I don't want to have to keep moving up here. Cincinnati doesn't need a running back. They take a left tackle. The Bills might take a running back here. So let's just move up two spots. This shouldn't be too expensive. I mean, there's still one running back ahead of him, but we'll, we'll, we always see someone getting taken a little bit, you know, like ahead of someone that's technically ahead of him on the draft board. So, and we're only moving up two spots here. So I'm okay with this. All right, we're only moving up two picks. So we gave him a sixth and two sevenths. That's, that way we're not giving up any of our thirds or fourths because we're going to need to trade back up, I think, uh, here into the second round to grab that left guard. So we're back up here at uh, pick 18 here in round two. And I'm taking this running back. He looks insane. Jeremiah Quick, I like his name. He's 22 years old, elusive back at five foot ten, But look at his physicals. He's the fastest running back who ran a 4-3-1. But then look at the break tackle. A, carrying. A, stiff arm. A, trucking. B, if he's a elusive back and has A power stuff, with the, the physicals, he might be a generational player. Like, he's insane. St uh, star or better development. 96 speed. 85 jumping. 87 change of direction. 93 agility. 97 acceleration. We just found our... Uh, our Jonathan Taylor replacement. And he's wearing number 28, which is 
which is funny. We'll probably change his number. Let me know in the comments below uh, what number do you think he should wear. But uh, Jeremiah Quick looks insane. Insane. He's, he was definitely the best running back in the class. And he was like the fifth taken. He looks awesome. All right. Now we need that right guard. So let's keep going until a right guard is taken or until just our pick. It did say uh, around two to three. So we might just be able to take him with the first pick in uh, or the, our first pick in the third round. Chris Pinkston quarterback goes to Philly. Interesting. And let's see. We're almost up here. Pick 28 for Dallas. They take Walter Lewis. Minnesota. They take Carl Session. He was one of the left tackles I was looking at to possibly move over to right tackle. Another left tackle goes. The Rams take another left tackle. Again, that, that's not really worrying me. I just want to see if we can get this guy without trading up here. Okay, a right guard just went. Never mind. We're going to trade up. Okay, so we're trading our latest third round pick, actually. Keeping that fifth pick in the third round. Giving up our latest fourth, a sixth next year, and a seventh next year. Those will be easy to recuperate. And we, we had two sixths. So I'm okay with doing that. And uh, yeah, we will move up to pick two here in the third round. We also have pick five, which we could either trade down from or take somebody that we want. But in this situation, uh, I'm going to take Fitzsimmons and we're going to move him to right tackle. He's 6'5", 313. He can play right tackle, a pass block, which is awesome. That's like the big thing. Star or better, Dev, 87 strength, 68 speed, which is pretty good, 68 jumping, 70 agility, 80 acceleration, which is awesome. But that A pass block is huge, huge. C to F injury, which is a bit of a concern, but uh, we can move him to right tackle. And uh, yeah, that pretty much solidifies our offensive line. Like our offensive line doesn't really, it's pretty young overall and pretty good. So that could be our final piece to our offensive line, which is awesome. Anthony Temple goes, and uh, Del Chase on inside linebacker, he goes. I think this is where we take an inside one of these inside linebackers. Let's look at the position here and see. Yeah, they're the next two, so now we, we need to choose. Is it Justin Snow or Steven Duvall? Which one? Justin Snow, B block shed, C to F tackling. His tackling is not as high. But, man, physically, he's insane. C finesse moves, B man, B block shed. Okay. And then Steven Duvall, uh, 6'1", 232. He's a bit smaller. Physically, he's still really good, too. B man, B zone, B tackle. D power moves, though. I think the other guy is a better pass rusher, technically. So he's a little bit more versatile. Um, Duvall ran a 4.55. Five. What did Justin Snow run? He ran a 4.5. So not much faster, really. Hmm. I don't know. This is tough. I like Justin Snow. I like his name, too. Like, Stephen Duvall sounds cool, too. But Field General, he's a scheme fit. I think I'm going to go Justin Snow here. Yeah. Let's go Justin Snow. He's six foot two, 89 speed, 77 strike, 76 jumping, 84 agility, 90 acceleration. He looks, he looks really good physically. We'll have to see. Star better dev though, which is huge. He's only 21 years old out of Notre Dame. I think this was a good pick. This was a good pick. And we can put him under Jack Leonard, let him learn from him, let him learn from Speed and Franklin and develop him. And hopefully his dev trait's really good. I'm excited about Justin Snow. Yeah, I think that was a good pick. All right, let's see where we're at. We've gotten running back down, down, corner down, edge rusher, we'll see. Hopefully that turns out good. We've got our right tackle set. Um, what else do we need? Linebacker's done, unless we wanted, we could take Duvall too, if he's there. Uh, we could take more depth at uh, on the offensive line, which might be the way to go. Um, we could also take Juwan Bryant just in case uh, 
just in case whatever his name was i can't remember his name right now he, just in case he stinks that might be an option too so let's kind of just let this play out i might take bolt inside linebackers and then maybe we trade some guys we can trade speed and franklin and just take you know oh there goes juan bryant okay well we're not doing that i'm really tempted to just take and duval too i mean we need I mean, especially if Leonard starts regressing. Uh, man, I, this might be the move. Just have a hell of a duo at inside linebacker. Let's do it. Let's do it. Normal dev. Okay, so he's not as good. But again, we're adding depth. We can trade EJ Speed. We can trade Franklin. We can figure things out there. But I think it was worth a shot. We get younger at that position and we could always move on from Shaq Leonard if we decide to. His value is really high because now he's up to star dev, right? He's going to regress next season. Like, that's the thing. We need to make decisions on Kenny Moore, on Shaq Leonard, because they're going to regress next season. So maybe drafting the replacement this year helps us. That way we don't have to draft a rookie and start a rookie the following year when we're possibly contending. So I think that's the best way to do it. All right, so that's the draft. We went ahead and traded the rest of our, the last two or three picks that we had, gained some picks for next year. So we didn't, we really didn't spend any of our picks next year, which is awesome. Maybe next year we use a future for first and, you know, we go for somebody that we really need. Um, but yeah, we didn't use a whole lot of our picks, which was awesome. Uh, our At least our future picks. So let's take a look at the draft recap and see... The damage. Crothers is only a 74. That's brutal, man. He stinks. Holy moly, though. Jonathan Quick is an 82 overall. Uh, Yeah, he looks awesome. 96 speed. Carrying's a 92. Back cut vision's an 83. Juke moves an 82. Stiff arm is an 87. Break tackle's an 84. Catching's an 80. Holy crap. Yeah, he looks, he looks awesome. He looks really 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 good he was definitely the best pick um maybe this draft wasn't that good um Taj Holloman I thought he'd be better 75 overall 95 speed 95 acceleration uh, he's insane he's just physically insane um 89 agility which is crazy change of direction is a 93 uh catching is an 81 catching tra catching traffic's is 75 huh his route running's in the 60s that's weird uh release is only a 50 but like his receiving he could actually play receiver <laughs> 93 jumping what wait what was his spectacular catch is only 71 huh that's kind of crazy you can't do two-way guys right That'd be like an interesting storyline. That'd be kind of cool. I mean, now you've got um, yeah, Travis Hunter and CU doing both. I know Dion did both. Tosh Holloman could do both. That's interesting. Let me know. Can we, is that even possible, or would I just have to like go back and forth every game? Like one game he'd be a uh, wide receiver, the next game he'd be corner, which I don't know if that's really worth it. But that's. Uh, his receiving stuff was decent. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just, I don't know. That'd be kind of cool. Um, he's, he's worse than I thought he would be at corner though, which is a little unfortunate. Just that 95 speed though is insane. Uh, wait, what was his man coverage? Shoot, hold on. Uh, let me find his man in zone coverage here. And let's see. So, man, 78, zone 66. So, 78 is not horrible. It's not horrible. 76 press. 97 stamina. 97 injury. So, he won't get hurt, which is nice. So, interesting. All right. Uh, let's see. Crothers. Oh, what was his finesse moves? 80 finesse moves. That's not bad. That's solid. That's solid. We can work with that. We can work with that. Uh, Josh Chapman. 80 tackle. 76 hit power. Uh, what's his block shedding? 72. Okay, 82 power moves, though, which is really good. 82 pursuit. All right, he looks solid. And then 
Uh, let's see. Danny Fitzsimmons. His in impact blocking is an 81. Pass block finesse is an 80. His pass block in general is an 82. Solid. Solid. And then what's his run blocking? 64. So he's not a good run blocker. Justin Snow. Uh, let's see. He... What was his overall? He is a, a 72 overall. Duvall is a 71 overall. Both with 89 speed. Snow has 90 acceleration. 84 agility. And let's look at their tackling here. Uh, where is it? We've got 80 tackling. 82 tackling for Duvall. Hit power is an 86 for Snow. Block shedding is a 72. Uh... Their power and finesse moves doesn't really matter. Pursuit. Duval is a little bit better. A little bit better man coverage, but Snow has better zone coverage. So, all right. Overall, not horrible. Injury. Yikes. Fitzsimmons has a 78 injury. That's not great. Chapman only has an 81 injury. So, let's go ahead and look at the rest of the draft and look at specific guys that we passed on. So, let's take a look. Uh, there was a defensive tackle we decided to pass on and uh, we, well, we chose a, a different defensive tackle and a different uh, corner. We also took, let's see, Jonathan Quick was the best the, the best player in the draft. 82 overall. Juwan Stark was a 78. Ah, crap. All right. His speed isn't as good, but still it's good. 93. Change of direction is way higher. What was his man coverage? Did we make a mistake here? Um, his man is an 82, his zones is 78. Oh boy. All right. We might've made a mistake there. Oh, only normal dev. Never mind. Nope. We didn't make a mistake. I'm, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Uh, all right. What was the other pass rusher that I thought about taking? Was it, it was Kevin Jackson, uh, 81 speed, 86 agility. And we can just click into him here. Uh, let's see. Ratings wise, 76 power moves, 60. Okay. He's not, I mean, hidden dev. Um, I would have taken him over Crothers, but I decided to take Crothers and move to a 3 4. And he has superstar dev. Oof. Uh, that's a tough one. That's a tough one. But, all right. It's not the worst thing in the world, but the normal dev for Crothers is uh, is pretty tough, man. That was pretty tough. All right. I guess what we could have done was take CJ Medlin instead of Crothers because he's a 78 overall and uh, 79 run, 79 pass, really well balanced. And I'm curious to see what his hidden dev is. If he's superstar, I'm going to be kind of sick here. Uh, it's only star dev. All right, that's fine. I'm not really worried about about it then. That's not the worst thing in the world. Let's see who else. Uh, Juwan Whitfield is 76 overall defensive tackle. Only normal dev though. So, I guess that's not the worst thing either. I don't know. All right. There was Dante Pittman. Wasn't really looking at wide receivers. Terrence Newman, 88 speed. Pittman, 90 speed. They're meh. Um, let's see. Oh, Juwan Bryant was the other one. 75 overall, 84 speed. Does have star or better dev. 85 tackle is really good. Oh, wait, his moves aren't good. Oh, you know what? I was looking at him at inside linebacker. He would have been instead of like snow. That's right. I forgot about that. Okay. Let's see what dev trait he has. This wasn't, he wasn't a pass rusher. Forgot about that. Okay. Um, star dev. So, yeah. I don't know. I think overall, I think we had a really good draft. The, the, the Crothers one, that one, that one's tough, man. That one's, that's the tough one. We'll move him to left outside linebacker. And I mean, it's not like he's a bad player. Um, it's just a dev trait. But again, you know, we can get it normal to star is easy. So, you know, maybe he wins rookie of the year. You never know. Let's go ahead and generate best lineup here. 
Um, but he's going to be in at left outside linebacker. We have him and Odengbo on the outsides. And, I mean, his ratings aren't bad. 82 speed, 80 finesse moves, which is really good. He could possibly be at close to 90 finesse moves by the end of the year. Um, so, I think overall, he'll be a good player for us. And we're just going to create more pressure. Especially, the big one is going to be Chapman. I'm going to move him to right end here. He's a 75 overall hidden dev. We're not going to look at his hidden dev. But I'm just going to move him to right end. And let's see. And I'll, I'll mess with how they look and stuff and show you guys that in the in the next episode. Um, but Chapman, 75 overall. I think he could be a really good player. He could cause a lot of problems for uh, for offenses. 82 power moves, 93 strength, 80 tackles, 72 block shed, 81 injury, which is uh, a bit concerning. But he looks solid. And let's see. Um, let's go ahead and generate best lineup again. Uh, where is... Oh, wait. No, we need to move Fitzsimmons to right tackle. So let's go ahead and do that. And right now, he's a 75 overall. I think he's a solid right tackle, though. So we will move him and see if he goes up or down here. He goes down technically, but we're going to start him. And there you go. Our offensive line is pretty much set. We might move Freeland. Uh, or what we could do is move Smith back to right tackle and Fitzsimmons back to right guard. You know what? Let's do that. So I decided to move Taj Holland to wide receiver just to see what his overall it would be. And it's a 62. It's not horrible. Um, but I was just I was just curious, like, oh, like a two-way player would be really fun. I don't know how it would work, but I mean, it'd be interesting. Like that'd be kind of cool if we could somehow pull that off. Uh, but I don't know. Let me know in the comments below if you guys think like that would be like a cool idea um, and just see what happens. Cause I mean, we could use another wide receiver. I like Alec Pierce, uh, 92 speed, 94 acceleration. Like he looks really good. It just could be another thing we do that could be interesting. I don't know. I mean, we don't necessarily need to do it, but I don't know. It, it'd be, it'd be a fun storyline that, that we could uh, have some fun with, but either way that's going to do it. Uh, I'll go ahead and set the roster and, and get all ready for the preseason and next episode we will uh, see how it goes in the preseason. We'll have some running back competition with Evan Hole, uh, Jonathan Quick, uh, Zach Moss, and we'll see how that goes. Um, and then maybe some wide receiver competition. Maybe we'll put Taj Holloman in that wide receiver for a game and see how it goes. I think that could be fun. And uh, yeah, that, there's going to be corner competition with Holloman and Jalen Jones as well. Inside linebacker competition with the two rookies. Uh, so there's there's a lot to look forward to with the next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hit that like button if you did. Subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. And uh, I will see you guys in the 2024 preseason.